Hey everyone, this is PJD here, and before I get into the product of the day, I just want to talk to you first about my Oyen Handmade experience. This is not really a review because I've reviewed this product in the past. This is the Oyen Handmade uh, Hair Cleanser There Shampoo. And I had done a review a long time ago where I said that I felt it left too much of a waxy buildup on my hair. It felt like it put stuff on my hair and I, I didn't like it at all. Um, since it can double as a body wash, I think I told everyone that I would try and use it as a body wash, but I didn't really like it so much as that either. But um, anyway, so I finished up that first bottle. Who knows how? I don't even remember exactly what I did with it. I think in part I did use it as a body wash, but I mixed it with other shampoos to try and make it work. So anyway, that was the first bottle, um, first or second, because I believe by the time I had given my review, I already used it twice, but I can't be certain of that. Anywho, um, so then after going through some products a couple of months ago, I came across another Oyen handmade bottle. I must have, I don't know, ordered it by the boatload, who knows, but I found another bottle and I'm thinking, oh goodness, now I have to try and finish this up. And so anyway whatever motivated motivated me to do it I don't know what but I just decided one day to just use the uh, shampoo on its own don't mix it with anything just use it on my hair and I don't know if it's the fact that it had been sitting for some months just untouched I don't know what it was but it still left a bit of a waxy buildup but certainly not nearly as much as it did uh, during my first uh, one or two bottles of this product so it was a much lighter buildup and build up or not once I put the conditioner in and washed it out my hair felt amazing it was it was just so soft it, it was wonderful I was really happy and um for those of you you can check the old video for the price and the product the ingredients but I can tell you it has honey a bunch of oils it's natural product they do have a little fragrance in here at the bottom depending on which one you get but you know it's a it's a natural product anywho and it has like natural preservatives so Anywho, um, so I decided, wow, and I used the entire bottle. I said, this is great. Uh, it makes my hair feel really soft despite this minor buildup feeling. But, you know, maybe that's just the honey in it. Who knows? But it feels really moisturized and nice. So I was happy. I said, I'm going to order a new bottle. I did notice on their website that it says, you know, like it's the, at that time when I ordered it, that it's the new and improved or they have a, a better version of this product. And it was described as being richer and thicker. And I can tell you, as soon as I got it, I said to myself, hmm, certainly isn't thicker because my, my last bottles were definitely thicker. Look at this. You can kind of see that just moving around the, the old bottle that I had because it was more like honey in consistency. So when you would move it, it was kind of like slow to move. This is like, look at that. It's just shaking all around. It's much more of a, a liquid feeling of liquid than my previous versions. Anyhow, I decided to get it in the scent Rich Almond. I used this and it pretty much felt like it was burning my scalp off of my head. So I don't know what's up. I don't know if, because it says this version is supposed to be richer and thicker, definitely not thicker. I don't know if something got mixed up in the lab um, or I don't know myself to be allergic to anything. So I don't know if maybe something to make this have the Rich Almond fragrance, which, which smells great by the way i don't know if it's whatever is used in the fragrance is something that um was not agreeable to my skin because it just felt like a million pins and needles were being stuck into my scalp when i washed it out i still felt it i felt it up to two days later until i um co-washed my hair which I, I normally don't do but I definitely didn't <laughs> I didn't want to touch any more shampoo so I just used conditioners and then my scalp felt normal again um but I can tell you my hair was super soft and amazing but I'm definitely I'm not going through that again I'm going to see if someone else I know um can use this without having that same stinging experience if so then perfect they can have it um and I probably wouldn't touch this again it's just odd that my batches have been so different very waxy to not waxy and, and I, I definitely understand that when you're mixing things by hand you know things happen but basically I'm doing this because I want to know has anyone else had this experience do you think it was like an allergic thing or um have you had this experience with the new formula I'm just not sure because then if it's maybe just this one bottle, perhaps I would buy it again. I'm not sure because I do like the results that it leaves with my hair on my hair. So I'm conflicted, but I definitely, definitely don't want to feel that stinging, burning sensation ever again. So I don't know. Okay, so um, that was just that. I'm kind of looking for feedback from you. Next thing, um, a couple of weeks ago, my skin was just looking, it felt soft and all that, but it was looking very 
dry it looked dry even though it didn't feel dry and it looked very dull and my pores were enlarged it was I don't know what was going on but I, I actually think I know which product was the culprit I think a particular product had began clogging my pores and uh, also led to the the dull um, appearance that I had but you know I haven't clearly identified it as the culprit yet but hopefully I'll I'll do that soon I just want to do a bit more testing before I review that little piece of work anyhow just going through the store at Walgreens going through the aisles I saw the Neutrogena Wave uh, product this little device that you press the little button it comes with this device a head which is this little piece which can be flicked off and uh, a battery and 14 pads what you do is you basically take a pad let me just show you the original first uh, you take a pad and it's pre-treated with, you know, a, a wash of some sort. You take this, I have two pads in one, but basically it's like Velcro and you just attach it to the head. Boop, just like that. And you put some water on here and then you see it will start to sud a bit. It takes, maybe I'll say five seconds for it to really get sudsy on my face. But, um... Nevertheless, it happens and once the suds start flowing, they start flowing and it's all over my face and I got the gentle formula because although I have combination skin, it is sensitive combination skin so I can't mess around. Generally, I can't even use store products because they will either burn me or dry my skin out so much that it's it's just horrible. So anyway, I use this product, the gentle formula. This costs $15.99 by the way and I was just so amazed on day one. This is what it did for me. It kind of buffed my skin. It made it so that um, after it was done, my skin just had this kind of glow. It was shiny overall, but when you touch my skin, it wasn't greasy. And it was, in fact, it was so shiny that in the zones where it was shiny, I, I didn't, if I didn't want to, I didn't have to put any moisture, any moisturizer on. I just decided to do it because... I'm, I'm used to putting on moisturizer, but I definitely put on less, just a dab. But in the drier zones of my face, I put on a little more moisturizer. But here's just a thing that I like to do when I have products, a new products I'm testing out, especially on my skin, my face. So what I like to do is, you know, a person will wash their face in whatever product they're using, then towel dry it off and throw on their moisturizer. If I'm trying a new product, I would like to really see how that product works works on my skin. So what I do is I don't towel dry off. I allow my face to just air dry because I want to see the results of this product. Will it make my skin feel extra dry? Will it feel moisturized? What's going to happen before applying moisturizer? So that's exactly what I did here. And then I can tell you that this product allowed my face to dry into the, like this, um, definitely it, it wasn't dry. It would, once it air dried, it was shiny without being greasy. Um, it was kind of a glow that it gave me. It was lovely. My pores, I almost saw, I want to say that I almost saw an immediate um, difference in my skin after using it. Well, definitely got rid of the dull appearance that was gone. Um, my pores definitely um, had been reduced, I want to say, in a minor way after my first use. But after continued use, they're back to normal. Um, everything looks good. I feel like it reversed the negative um, effects that I want to attribute to that other product, which I'll review soon. But um, I... I, I'm so surprised that a store brand actually works for me. I like this. Um, so it comes with 14 pads. It comes with a battery. It comes with this. They also have another one of these devices called the Duo because it has two speeds. When you press this um, button, you can make it go faster. Uh, it just kind of vibrates in my hand, but feels good on my skin. And it says that it's supposed to deep clean your pores. And goodness, I want to say that it has because my pores are completely back to normal. In fact, they may even look smaller. Um, I, I really like this product. So I decided to venture out. And I purchased another one, the refills. This one has 30 pads and this refill costs eight bucks and change. It comes with, oops, a new head. So you can just flip this old one off and put the new head on. And it comes with 30 pads for $8.99, which I thought was a pretty good um, steal. I still decided to get um, the gentle formula just because I think if I go any stronger, I can tell you that they have an acne version and some, some others. If I go stronger, I'm pretty sure it would dry my skin out and I would start to look a mess and I would have bad uh, reactions to it but I decided to get the exfoliating gentle exfoli exfoliating pads and as you may be able to see it has little orange exfoliating uh, beads or little dots on here and again it's pre-treated so it foams up it suds up I just want to use this for my once a week you know at least once a week uh, exfoliation 
Uh, so that works out well. It's been working out well. And I like this product, $15.99. And it took away my dull skin blues. So I'm really happy. Um, my time is about to be out. If you have, oh, the ingredients um, on these pads. Um, it has glycerin. It has um, SLS. This is for the exfoliating one. Um, it, it has salicylic acid. It does have two parabens, which I hate. Um, so I, I'm... I'm trying to use this in conjunction with because other products, maybe uh, natural products for my skin, that uh, ones that don't, of course, have these bad ingredients. So once I use those, then maybe only when my skin needs it, then I'll turn to this to kind of clear away whatever, you know, dullness or whatever problems my skin may be experiencing. But so far, I really do like this product minus the ingredients, hating that, but I'm um, loving the results. So I'm conflicted a bit. Anyway, talk to you soon. My time is way up. Bye.